problem 20. A vertical triangular gate has a horizontal base 2.4 meters long and 1.8 meters below the water surface. It is hinged on the bottom portion. Its vertex is 0.6 meter above the water surface. What normal force must be applied at the vertex to open the gate? So to help analyze the situation, let's have the uh, diagram figure. So this is the situation we have a triangular gate with vertex uh, 0.6 meter above the water surface. So this is the water surface. Therefore, the water is in contact with one side, which is trapezoidal in shape. So let's divide the area, this trapezoidal portion, into two parts, rectangular and these two triangle combined which is still symmetric with respect to the axis. So therefore, the height of the gate is also 2.4. So these are the two triangles combined. It be, it's still uh, symmetric. So the centroid of the, the center of pressure of the force in this rectangular portion is two thirds of 1.8, the center of pressure. So, two-thirds of 1.8 is 1.2. So, this center of pressure of the rectangular portion happens to be the centroid of the triangular portion because the location of the centroid of this triangle is two-thirds of 1.8 or one-third from the bottom. Two-thirds of 1.8 is 1.2. One-third of 1.8 is 0.6 from the bottom. That's the this is the center of pressure of the rectangle, two-thirds of 1.8, which happens to be the centroid of the triangle also. So this is the center of pressure for the triangular portion, which we will compute the E sub V to locate the line of action of the force in the triangular portion. So here acts FR and F so the distance between the two is E sub V T. So this is 0 0.6 because two thirds of 1.8 is 1.2 for the rectangular part. So this is 0 0.6. This is also 0 0.6 total, but we will compute E sub V T first. So Uh, but we experienced this before, but we still have to solve for ESA VT. I don't want you to memorize the results in the preceding problems. So this is our working equation. We sum up moment about the hinge bottom. So counterclockwise moment n times 2.4 equals FR times 0 0.6 plus F sub T times quantity 0 0.6 minus E V sub T. So this is 0 0.6. This center of pressure of the rectangle is the centroid of the triangle portion. So that's the distance from the bottom is 0 0.6 then minus E sub V T because E sub V T is the distance between the centroid of the triangle and the center of pressure of the triangular portion. So, FR, but before that, let's solve for B. By similar triangles, B as 2.6 equals 2.4 as to 2.4 also. So, therefore, B is also 0.6. If B is 0.6, then the, com the base of the triangle would be 2.4 minus 0.6, and that is 1.8 for calculation of area later. So we can now solve FR. FR is specific weight of water, barred H. Barred H is 0.9 for the rectangle, half of 1.8. Then the area of the rectangle is 0.6 by 1.8. So FR is 9.81 times 0.9, then area 0.6 by 1.8. So FR is equal to 9.5535 kilonewtons. 
Then for the triangular portion, remember barred eights for the triangular portion because this is the centroid of the triangle, two thirds of 1.8 is 1.2 meters. So for the triangular portion, the FT is specific weight, barred eights is 1.2, as I said, two thirds of 1.8 is 1.2. Then the area is 0.5 or one half of B sub D 1.8 times height 1.8. So FT is 9.31, bar is 1.2, area half or 0.5 of 1.8 base of triangle, height of triangle is also 1.8. So F sub T is 19.07 kilonewtons. Then let's solve for E sub VT, which is height I sub CG over area of triangle, bar H of triangle, but the result is height of Triangle square over 18 bar h, if you can recall or experience in the preceding examples, you can derive this in your own. So 1.8 square divided by 18 bar h of triangle is 1.2. So E sub VT is 0.15 meters. Then substitute in our working equation, n times 2.4 equals FR 9.535 times 0.6 plus 19.07 times quantity 0.6 minus 0.15. So from here, we can now solve for N. N is to open the gate, normal force to open the gate, 9.959. That's also the horizontal force normal to the gate plane of the gate, of course.